Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how scientists have identified the key enzyme in plants that helps produce mitrophilin, which is a natural compound with powerful anti-cancer properties. This discovery could open new doors for developing plant-based cancer treatments. Scientists have finally managed to find out how plants make mitrophilin, a naturally occurring compound with strong anti-tumor and anti-cancer properties. By identifying the ingredients and process of plants making mitrophilin, it becomes easier for the researchers to develop it in a controlled environment, like a science lab, and access its pharmaceutical value in treating various diseases. The research was done at UBC Okanagan and a team of University of Florida. By replicating the process used by plants to make this anti-cancer substance, scientists can now make the compound in the lab easily. Let us know about mitrophilin and how do plants make it. It is a rare plant-derived molecule, which is also known as spirooxindole alkaloids. They are famous for their unique twisted ring-like structure and are noteworthy for their biological effects, including anti-tumor and anti-inflammatory properties. These molecules exist in very tiny quantities in nature and are found in trace amounts in coffee family tropical trees namely Mitragyna and Uncaria. Plants use two enzymes that work together to give this molecule its unique twisted ring-like shape. One of the two enzymes is responsible for the molecule 3D arrangement, while the other gives it a twist which make the molecule complete. This is similar to finding the missing links in an assembly line, says Dr. Dang. UBC Okanagan Principles Research Chair in Natural Products Biotechnology. It answers a long-standing question about how nature builds these complex molecules and gives us a new way to replicate that process. Now that the scientists have identified the enzymes responsible, they can replicate the process in the lab to make the results effectively and sustainably in the lab. This would help save money not only in research, but give the scientists a way to produce rare and thus expensive substances at a lower price and expedite the research on its biological properties to help the green drug revolution. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.